Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if he broke his jaw right there. What is it going to take to put this guy out? Very hard fight to score. I'd be curious to see who won. I thought Mike Perry won this fight. A bare knuckle fight may continue with one overtime. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, man. All right. All right, so whoever wins this round wins the fight. Fire. Very interesting. What is going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, something a little different. We've done bare knuckle fighting before, but not bare knuckle fighting in America. Usually it is over there in the beautiful country of Russia. But today we have Mike Perry taking on a Michael Venom page. Now, we're going to be breaking down Mike Perry and his fight because he has a big fight coming up against Eddie Alvarez. So uh, the producer sent this to me and we're going to break this bad boy down. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know we go live and let's see who he's texting. It's the producer texting you right now to get this done. So, all right, boys, hope you enjoy it. Let's give it a watch. All right. So if you guys are not familiar with mike perry this gentleman is an absolute beast this sport was made for him bare knuckle fighting um where he's fighting michael Vernon page uh, michael Vernon page is a mixed martial artist they're both mixed martial artists but michael michael Vernon page does better there Whoosh. Whoosh. but see this is what makes uh mike perry so good he loves it he loves it and he comes forward. He smashes everybody down, right? Obviously, Venom is the longer athlete. He has a different style going about the way he fights. This is how he fights in mixed martial arts too, with his hands down, jumping back and forth. Uh, with this here, with his hands being down, let me get my magic pin out here. His hands are down here. Obviously, his head's here. And so I, I, I will always prefer this style much better because it gives you opportunities to actually cover your face up a lot faster than this gentleman. But he's able to do this because he's longer. He's got this, you know, wide stance. Once again, there is the void. But Michael, uh, Mike Perry does a good job by just walking across it and getting in his opponent's face. Like I said, he's built for bare knuckle fighting. And he actually does pretty well in mixed martial arts too. Oh, shit. <laughs> Remember what I talked about? When you have your hands down like that, he comes across as a right hand. That thing landed clean. FYI, for what it's worth, I have not seen this fight before. I have not. So it's my first time ever watching it. But look, Michael, uh, Mike Perry goes right, right after him. Ooh, he misses that right hand. Okay, doing a good job. Of Getting his arms in, those elbows in. Ooh, almost landed that left hook too. You see, Mike Perry does a good job by just walking, walking you down, walking you down, forcing his opponents to clinch with him where he gets those body shots off. Right there. That stuff hurts, guys. Like, when you rear a knuckle, those knuckles digging into your ribs, that stuff hurts. Okay, watch. He walks right across distance. Ooh. You see? And Michael also, uh, Mike Perry does a good job of pummeling in. Pummeling in. That first round goes to uh, Mike Perry. All right, round two. You now Mike Perry's warmed up. Whoa! Getting his arms in there. Oh my God! I see. Mike Perry is the raw tank of bare knuckle fox boxing. He has a chin because those two strikes land it clean, clean from a knockout artist.
Mm. I know. And that's the only thing that's hard about Michael Venom Page is that that when you're bouncing back and forth like that, you can kind of be predictable because you, you come in, you're bouncing back and forth. You come in when you're bouncing back and forth. He doesn't just walk across his own. He went stop off. Good movement from Hui. Like these shots are landing, but see, this is what makes Mike Perry so good is that he eats him. He keeps coming forward, man. Good body shots. Body shots. Look, goes right forward. Ooh, nice slip from Perry. And see the way, so here's a difference, right? So look how much energy Michael Venom Page uses by going back and forth, darting back and forth. Cause that's all explosive movement. It's all explosive movement. Ooh, nice right hand by Venom. But see, it's a lot of running that Michael Venom Page is doing. All right? Whoo, nice uppercut. Right? And that's the best thing to do when you're fighting someone like that who likes to run and use that distance is look at how Mike Perry just smothers people. I don't know if he broke his jaw right there because his jaw is kind of swoll swollen right there. Oui. Man. Mmm. That over here right landed. Nice. Like I said, he can just he eats all that, man. He's eating all that. Right there. We're looking. Walking him down. Walking him down. Walking him down. Look at his face, man. Look at that face. Now, obviously, Michael Venom Page is landing the bigger shots. But when you have an opponent who walks forward like that over and over and you hit him with some legit shots, it kind of demoralizes you. It's kind of like, dude, what is it going to take to put this guy out? And as the fight goes on, it plays dividends for Mike Perry because Michael Venom Page isn't used to this, this uh, type of volume of going back and forth, back and forth and hitting somebody and hitting them clean and having them still be up, right? Because you look, it's the beginning of the round. It's, you know, two minute rounds. Look how much pep in his step does uh, Michael Venom Page have. He has way more pep in his step. Damn. And I will say this is Mike Perry's only downfall is like when he walks forward like that, his head stays in one one position. So that's why all those punches are landing. Right. And that's why. And with Michael Venom Page being so much faster and going back and forth, he's darting across the void, hitting Michael with the right hand and left hook, and then getting back out of the void where Michael can't get a game, where Mike Perry can't get a game off, right? So I would love to see Mike Perry. I mean, Mike Perry knows what he's doing. I don't need to tell him what he needs to do. I love to see him have more head movement outside of the void to mix it up for when him and Eddie fight and, you know, be more uh, agility going in and out just to keep this target of your body moving back and forth. So it's not an easy target where your head just put up on a pinata for the opponent to strike. That's the only thing I would say I want Mike, Mike Perry to do. But I do like his forward pressure because typically his opponents crack under that constant pressure that he puts on them. 
but everything every each time venom page goes in he's always catching mike right off the gut he's the first to go he's the first one at the buffet he's been able to eat before mike gets a chance to eat but mike mike eat all that mike eat all those shots but you say he's walking forward like that he eats it that's so demoralizing to anybody who fights him and that's how he beat luke rockhold We just trying to get to him, man. But see, Michael Venom Page is starting to slow down. That that constant pressure, that constant pressure over and over and over is starting to pay dividends right now, right? Start to pay dividends. Even though Mike Perry hasn't got a good combination off on Venom, that constant pressure of him just walking forward, kind of what Sean Strickland does to his opponents, it pays a huge, huge dividend. All right, here we go. Last round. Right now, I would say probably Michael Venom Page is winning this fight. All right, final round. So watch how much... Watch the pep in uh, Michael Venom Page's step. Way more pep in his step in the very beginning of the, the round because his body's recovered. Now, usually he starts to slow down at, at the first minute uh, after the one minute mark. God, that right hand's landing every single time. Every time. No dirty box from for Mike Perry. It makes me sad to not see Mike Perry in uh, MMA anymore because I actually enjoyed watching him in MMA. He had some very good knockouts in MMA. Yeah, see, now he's trying to find it. Ooh, nice over here, right? Hmm. It's a very hard fight to score. Very hard fight to score. Ooh. Very hard fight to score. I'd be curious to see who won. I thought Mike Perry won this fight. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen. After completing the scheduled five rounds, our judges at ringside have declared this fight to be a split draw. A draw. However, in the event of a draw decision, a bare knuckle fight may continue with one overtime <laughs> oh damn oh man all right all right so uh whoever wins this round oh god all right so whoever wins this round wins the fight very interesting Ooh. We see how Mike Perry is getting in there. He just gets in there, man. That's this what makes him so dangerous is because he goes at an edge. He goes right there and then just throws and waits for you to make miss big and get right back in your face. Right? Watch him walk him. Goes right to that right. Look, look at him across that distance. 
And now Michael Michael Vinny Page, his darting his darting isn't as smooth because it's the sixth round, right? It's the sixth round where Mike Perry can do this all day. He can walk across the distance all day long. Woo! Yeah, see, Mike, Mike Perry's doing a good job of pulling his arms out. Pulling his arms out right here. Going down for that clinch over the head. But watch how he crosses that distance. Watch. I'm going to put that. I'm going to bring up my magic pin real quick. Right there, okay? Typically, when we watch MMA fights, that void's right there. Void. If you're new to the channel, he crosses it. He doesn't stay here like what... Hamzat did the last fight. He would stay here and bounce all around. And that's what gave Usman the opportunity to actually land some good shots. But when you have an opponent who just walks across this distance, does not give two f**ks about what you're going to do, it makes it very hard. Now, in MMA, he can do flying knee. He can do double leg takedown. He can throw a, a, just a, a knee to the sternum. In boxing, there's not much you can do but try to counter him. But Mike Perry's face says it all. He's been countering all day, but Mike Perry don't give a f Great job from Michael Venom Page. Yeah, see those two shots there that uh, Perry hit him with? That right there, that right hand just landed perfectly. You see, the whole time, the whole time, Venom is running backwards. That takes a lot of energy to where his energy is going, trying to go forward and back. To where Mike Perry's energy is constantly going forward. It's constantly going forward. It's not going back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. So Mike Perry can sustain this because his energy is only going one way. Th the best way to think about it is like think about having a car. If you put your car in forward, reverse, forward, reverse, forward, reverse, the whole entire time for two minutes, there's going to be a lot more work on your car. But if you put your car in drive and just go forward the whole entire time, you're gonna see you expend as much gas. And that's the best way to, to equate how Mike Perry puts in the drive and just goes straight forward the whole entire time. So I think Mike Perry won that fight just because he was going forward. It was a sudden death. After completing the sixth round for the second time in BKFC history, our judges at ringside have declared your winner by majority decision. This is a good fight. <laughs> he very good respect. The biggest thing going into this fight against Eddie Alvarez and Mike Perry is Eddie Alvarez does use a lot of movement. He doesn't run as he doesn't run at all. He will stand and bang and get dropped and go out on his shield, which could be Eddie Alvarez's downfall. But Eddie does like to use a little more angles, a lot of more boxing where he goes up, down, up, down, up, down the stairs. So it'll be interesting. But Mike Perry has got a chin. That man is built for this sport. This man is the pound for pound best fighter in the world when it comes to bare knuckle fighting. So boys, if you enjoyed this breakdown and you want to see some more, will you please subscribe to the channel? And also, will you please leave a like? We will see you at the next one, boys. Cheer!